what is a seam analysis and what are we looking at? There's a couple things within the seam analysis that we look at. Number one, we look at the volume. We wanna make sure that there's at least 1.5 milliliters of semen that coming out each time you ejaculate. Number two, we're looking at the concentration. We wanna see how much sperm is within each milliliter of that semen. Typically, we want about 18 to 20 million per milliliter. Number three, we're looking at the motility. We're looking about how that sperm is moving, if it's moving in the right direction. We typically want about 40% of the sperm having good motility. And number four, we're looking at the morphology. The morphology, we typically want about 4% of the sperm to look healthy, to look good. Surprisingly, the morphology is probably the least important of these factors that I just described. In addition to that, we're looking at the white blood cell count to see if there's any infection within the semen. We're looking at the pH to see if there's any acid base issues, which could indicate some form of obstruction. Anywhere from 7.2 to 8 is what we consider normal pH for the semen and some other factors. Of the semen analysis, the most clinically important factors are the concentration and the motility. When you combine those two, we create what we call the total motile count. We typically want above 40 million or above 20 million. That gives us a good sense of your fertility potential. Anything below 20 to 30 million is when we start to get concerned about other issues that are causing infertility, which would warrant some form of a workup. But the key thing to remember about a semen analysis is it's a screening tool. It's not a verdict. So even if you have one semen analysis that's abnormal, we always tell patients it warrants an additional semen analysis. You want to get another semen analysis anywhere from three to four weeks afterwards. We want multiple data points because that's just a quick snapshot. Getting additional snapshots three, four weeks apart will give us a better complete picture of your fertility potential.